I'm Noelle Hyman with paperclipping.com and we're here in the Ranger booth with Diane Reebley. Hey Diane. Hi. And she's going to do a whole long demo for us. Like we usually we do really short ones, but yes. we get to do a longer one yes, today. Yes, we so. do. Fabulous. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm uh, going to show you all my new products. Does everybody know my products? Yeah. Anybody not know? No. 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 <laughs> so I what, I've I'm what I've brought out. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, I brought oh, out God. six new inks. I know it'll be like this all morning. Six new inks. Whenever I release anything, I, I don't like, like to release too much because I'm a store owner as well. And when somebody releases a big amount, the first thing is, where am I going to put it? Where am I going to put it in the store? And then if I'm struggling of thinking, where am I going to put it? The customer then is like, oh, I don't know what to buy. Whereas I'm, I think that I'm being really... <laughs> By buying six, they come in and they go, oh, there's six, I want them all, and they buy wow. them all. So I never bring much of anything out, and everything I bring out always goes with what I've had before, because I love my stuff from before, and the customers obviously did, because they bought it, so they want to know that the new stuff goes with it as well. So <clears throat> I have six new inks. I have Calypso Blue, which is um, a bright blue. They all go with all the other colours, and I have the board up at the back there with all the different colours on. So we have Calypso Blue, we have Dirty Martini, which is an olive green, After Midnight, which is a navy cross purple, Funky Future, which is a deeper pink, Cherry Pie, which is a red, but again, this is a blue red, whereas my original Postbox red was uh, an orangey red. And you see that when you see, because customers, when they look at the two together, don't notice. So if you've got tags up there, they can see that it is slightly different. And then, my favourite at the moment is <clears throat> my white. I've got white linen, and this is a semi-opaque white. So it's got pigment in. So you have to shake it to mix it. I didn't want it to be fully opaque because I'm all about layers. Um, so it's a semi-opaque. So I'll show you that. Always put the lid on. I never have the lids on, but always put the lid on this one when you shake it because otherwise it'll just <laughs> it'll just go everywhere. So those are my inks. And then I've brought out, my stencils this time are different. I've brought out, a, the, we've called it the Couture line. Um, it, everything does still go together, but my stencils, you can see, this is flossy. I have an image in there, and it's the same image in three different sizes. So this is flossy, this is Bert, <laughs> and this is Annie. You can see they're very nice and clean and looked after. These were new yesterday. Um, but what you also get with them, is you get the inners you see that they're over there so you, you get all the inners as well so you can use these to draw around I usually throw all these down like this spray spray another color another color and build up um, a lot of the backgrounds like this this is just clean up of the backgrounds so I use them in lots of different ways I then have my couture stamps which some people were surprised at these but I have actually drawn things like these in my journal for a while so this is walk in the park this is man about town and this is night at the opera and you can see the size of them they're big because I wanted them for the journals but then when I was putting my artwork in and I was reducing it to send over I thought oh I love them Diddy so I've got the small ones as well for the card makers uh, I'd love to say that I was thinking of the card makers when I did them, but I wasn't. I just thought, oh, I like those, so they went small. Now, Peter, I have been stamping for a long, long time, and I'm a big red rubber. It's got to be red rubber. But when I showed the designs, they said, oh, they're great, and they made them small. I was like, no, I need them big, and they said they're not viable to be that big in, in red rubber. So they said, you'll have to have them in clear, and I was like, no, I'm not having clear. But these are actually, they're not polymer, they're silicone. So it's the same, oh. if, yeah, if, if you had your boobs done, this is what you would. <laughs> I'd rather spend my money on this, but you know, but you can feel, you can feel them. Um, and they're supposed to last a lot longer. They're supposed to not yellow, they're supposed to not um, crack as much. You can see they come off really easily. Again, these are new stamps. Um, they're not like, you know, like some of the polymer and you're like, and then they rip in half. So I've only had them six weeks, but I, you know, so, the, the, but I'm loving them. I am loving using them. I'm a bit of a convert. And then I have my usual red rubber stamps as well. So I have an alphabet, which is, um, it's not solid black so that you can color it. You can add the ink on the top. I have some boys things because people were complaining 
last time. So here's some monsters and things like that. And again, all the heads. I put the. I could put his head on there. They're all interchangeable. There's the boys there. You can swap all the heads around, and you can do them with the other, all the other stamps that I already had. These are my backgrounds this time. So these are underwater, and we've got the fish here. And I'll show you some samples in there where I've used them through. And here's the fish. And what, again, I like to use the old stamps as well. So if you cut the tail off the fish, I don't know if you can see over here on this board where I've put it on the bottom of the legs and turned it into a mermaid. So you can turn all the previous figures, you know, you can use them all together as well. So, and then it wouldn't be the same without some of my snarky comments. So this time I have things like, I don't like morning people or mornings or people and I'm exhausted by how stupid everyone is getting I like that one and, and this is a good one for us women I'm not arguing I'm just explaining why I'm right do you not think so that's my collection um, this time so anything particular you want me to do or you just want me to just play okay this was a brand new journal yesterday they like me to start with new things and it, I can't find an, a clean page now look <laughs> <laughs> this is how I work just mess 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 so I clean everything up in my journal um, so oh look at that a clean page the paper in my journal like the inks are made to specially do what I want them to do the paper is as well and I much prefer to use this paper than any other so I actually tear paper out of the journal to use <coughs> um, to use as a, a mop up and then I just stick them back in again. When I've decorated them, I stick them back in. You can see with Tim's tissue tape. Because the paper is just so good. It's the best paper I've found. Um, so I always start with water. I use a lot of water when I'm using the inks. And I'll use the new inks. I'll use some greens. So this is the Dirty Martini. I'm always filthy. There's the Calypso Blue. Gorgeous. Tears, isn't it? And this is the After Midnight. Oops. More water to blend. And then I'm going to take the spare piece, place it over the top. Oh, that's dried quickly doesn't normally try as quickly as that but then I'll just put that to one side I always have tons and tons and tons of these ready ghosted with things on and then I just make them into other pages and stick them back so there's the inks <coughs> and so I'm going to do <coughs> excuse me, some ghosting so I'll take one of the stencils and the water I'm just going to spritz through flip over so my inks are made to resist so we do that and then we're just going to roll it and the ghosting will start to appear. Okay. There's always, you always pick up some ink on your stencil as well. Never waste that. Just find a page in your book and just press it off. We don't do cleaning. So that's how, how pages start. All of my pages, I never know what I've done. When people say, I really love that background, how did you do it? I'm a bit like, oh, um, I'm not sure because they're, they're all like this to start with where I've cleaned up, but it gives you all, the, um, all that detail underneath. Now I'm going to dry this. I very rarely dry anything. I just move on to another page and then come back. But I'm just going to give this a little dry because I'm going to add more ink on the top. And if you add more ink on something that's damp, it's just going to, to bleed and I don't want it to bleed. So we just dry it a little bit. And then I'm going to add some more, so I'll add with the alphabet. And because this is diluted, because we added the water, we can use the same colors on the top and you'll still be able to see them. You see? Oh. You can still see. And then I'll just clean that off on something else and then I'm going to show you the white so shake it every time just to get the pigment you don't have to shake it but if you don't shake it you won't get the strength of it can you see there and what what will happen is it picks up the color of the ink so this will go greeny this will go bluey 
So that's why I wanted it to be semi-opaque and not full opaque. But then if I just, you can see here now I've got a pastel blue, so you can actually mix these. You could get empty bottles and mix these and you could make all semi-opaque colours. This and this would make a, you know, a pastel um, blue. But then I just press everything off. And because this is semi-opaque, when I come to use this again later and um, spray ink over the top, this will, will come through this will act like a bit of a resist it's harder to get off the stencils than normal because it, it, it has got some pigment in so i usually just spritz it with water and then just really press it press it down on there and then just wipe it and it'll be absolutely fine okay so so you can see now how it's settling in can you see it's taking on the color but just just look at all the layers there now and everything was so easy. Just you one spray step. The directly onto the page, will it completely cover everything? No, you'd still you see colour. Yeah, if, let me show you on one like this. Do you mean like this, if I sprayed yeah. white everywhere? And it'll soak down into the colour. So, it'll, you know, you'll still see everything coming through. But if you did a really thick application, yes. Yeah, you could do that with it. So, um... So then the step, let's, what I've been doing is just showing with the, the stencils really. So we're just going to place him on there and I'm going to spray him with the dark blue. And again, this oh. will just get put. So every time, can you see what's, um, oops. And you can see where these stencils are really um, mucky because then what I've done is, oh, I've lost the page again. I do this every time. <laughs> oh, there we go. I, you can see how the white has come through because it's a semi-opaque. But a lot of the time I put this stencil back on and then I'll link up a stamp and I'll stamp through here can you see where I've taken the and I've stamped through um, and that one is um, I've stamped the fish through so I've just put the stencil back on and so this is why my stencils have all this all the way around but it's you know your stencils should be used they should be used they're not just at five minutes thank you to keep clean but you can see how nice that is and you could just put a word on it or something simple i'm going to put more so i'm going to stand one of the women next to him let's put this one my block where's my block gone okay have i explained my block to you i forgot no this is um when, when i made these stamps then i suddenly realized we didn't have anything big enough Oh, thank you. We didn't actually have anything big enough to put them on. Um, people have asked me for a long time, are you going to come out with your own blocks? I'm like, no, why? And the, Because they'll be yours. Well, I use Tim's. Yes, but they'll be yours. I use Tim's. I like... We, we don't make things just for us. We make things that we haven't got. <laughs> do you see what I mean? And I love the Tim's blocks, but we suddenly thought, oh, I haven't got a block. But I didn't just want a block. So what I've done is I've just put a curve down the side, um, which you can use to draw edges with like this you can draw edges etc I've also gone like this and done journal lines with it if we see in sorry can you see down the edge of here I've drawn the borders I've drawn the borders with it there and then um, there this one oh. can you see I've done the light so I've just drawn this is this is black dabber it's Tim's um, black soot distress just all over the page quite rough and then I've drawn through the stencil taken the stencil just drawn through it with the white pen and then just drawn the lines um, with this you see so you just draw through like that and it's got a ruler down the side I'm always losing my ruler because they're always thin and you can't find them so I can't lose this so you put down these open stencils and just drew in around the inside yes. with the white yeah pen. either that or you find or you take one of these and whichever you do, and draw on the outside yeah it doesn't it doesn't matter do it's the same down with anything? no no just, just I just hold it yeah 
and and if it wobbles she's just got a gammy leg and she'll be fine <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah on here the background on this one what i did was i put the stencil down and then i took the distress um dabber through it and then i just doodled over the top and here i just drew through it and then this is my ink in the water brushes so I just put the ink down, uh, straight from the bottle with a pipette into the water brushes so that one I coloured in. So you've got two different ways of doing. Once you start playing, you think, oh, it's a stencil, but once you start playing with them, you, th you know, there's so much you can do. So I always stamp with an archival ink pad because I never know if I'm going to ink anything else over the top. And if I had ink and, and this wasn't a permanent, so like Tim's Distress, I, I don't really use those because if I spray, they'll wick out with the water. So I'm just going to stamp this over the top, like so. Um, and I love to use his sheets, his masking sheets as well. So I've not got the other one. So if I want to mask anything off, I'd use one of these on mm. there. I've got the wrong one there, but uh, you see it. So, and then I can color this over the top as well because I can go with the same color. So if, because it's, Turquoise, I'm looking for. What on your wood brush? Yeah, is that one? Thank you. So I can just come and I'm never neat. People think I take, you know, great care and attention. As if. <laughs> if you had coloured over it with water, would it have lifted all the colour up? Under? Yes, yeah, it wouldn't lift all of the colour. Do you mean for my, like my bleach out? Mm -hmm. It wouldn't lift all the colour, but say this the line in here, if I just add water and take a piece of kitchen roll and press, I've heated this a little bit so it's not going to do it as much, but it, it should lift some of the colour. Oh, there we go, there we go. Can you see it's starting to lift the colour in there? So it will still it will still do all that, but then I'm just going to paint this in. And she's not standing out brilliantly because I've got a lot of colour and a lot of dark in the background. So when I finish this, what I would do is I'd outline her with a white pen and she would pop out. Can you see like this one? So I'd outline with a white pen and then I add all this detail in. And this is how you're gonna, people are going to make things different because this is checked. In the class the other day I showed you uh, tartan. We can do circles. So you can make these different every time. And then I've just taken the pens and I've just coloured in. But it's the white that lifts it. So this is where I've masked. So I've taken this, I've placed it on the top. I've taken one of my old stamps. I've just stamped directly over the top of it like that mm -hmm. um, and then peeled it back if I didn't want any of the underneath to come through like um, that's the one I've just done there can you see this is coming through mm -hmm. what I would do is before I did anything I would stamp her place the mask on do all my background take it off this would be blank like we did in class if you're in class seep underneath. no no because these are, are sticky oh, Tim's, right, right. Tim's mask yeah. sheets they come um, They come like this and you stamp on here and then you cut it and you peel it apart and then you just pop them back but you also get this bit as well which again you can use did something fall off oh no um and then that would have left this all decorated but with a blank under here and then i could have painted her and she would have been she would have been perfect so um so yeah so here you can see where i've just thrown the shapes on the background and just sprayed with different colours and then I've gone again with black and then I've just written over the top. So um, I'm really enjoying my new, um, is that the one, this one? The couture. I focused more on the couture for you this morning because it's so different from what you would expect from me, I think. So, but here is, that's the Munsters. There they are having a nice Christmas. So you can see they have the eyeballs on the tree. So there's the different monster heads and things. And again, if you see anything coloured, it's always, I've always coloured with my pens. It's always the ink. I take them on the planes, everything. There's the fish. So you can see Pondrin Petunia, she's now a, um, a mermaid there. These lines are done with my um, journal block. Ooh, sorry. These lines are done with this, can you see? I've just drawn round them and then turned it this way to draw round. And so we've got all the, and all the old stamps as well. 
Uh, these are actually cut out. I stamped them and cut them out and put them on the top. And then here's one of the, the boy ones. So you can see you can mix and match the heads up. Here, here I've taken, Mal I've taken Malcolm and then I've cut his legs off and then just crossed them and put the different head on. And um, there's the tree. And this is my alphabet stamp. So you can, this is what I was saying before. I didn't do it solid black. So I did it when you stamp, you can take the pens and you can colour it in whatever you want as well. So, oh, we've still got five minutes. Oh, I can do a little dance. <laughs> <laughs> so there's all, kind, you know, if, maybe I'll just show you some of these that are in here. So this, again, this, I did the background in these colours and then I placed the stencil on the top stamped my alphabet stamp through and then with my p black ink in the brush I just painted around the edge and I did this on the aeroplane so would, I just painted around with the black. With that tiny little brush? Yeah, Aww. yeah, because it, come, it comes out. You see sometimes I'll, I work backwards and front so all yeah, sorts. Why wouldn't you just spray it? Because I was on an aeroplane so I'd have got evicted. <laughs> <laughs> so this one here I um, what I did was I just did the background in these colours and then I laid the whole stencil on, the whole thing, and ghosted it. So I sprayed the water through the whole stencil so, and it lifted. Mm. Um, then I stamped her on the top and then I outlined these to just make them stand out mm. a little bit more. And you can see I've put, I've added, you see here I've added an extra thing. You can make these so different just by adding little bits. They're all coloured in with the water brushes. Um, that's the under the sea so again I've got the background so this is a stencil what I did was I drew around the stencil I bleached out with the water and then I painted back in with a lighter color um, and then stamped put the stencil back on and stamped the fish over the top and then I just kept moving the stencil slightly that's her so I did that stamped with the fish then I moved the stencil slightly drew round it, moved it again, drew round it, moved it again, drew round it and then just painted in with a different colour pen each time so I just got the background um, in there. What else have we got? This is a background that was just my clean up, you know, I didn't do anything to that background, that background was just a clean up page. I put him on, put the stencil on, I drew round him, I moved it, I drew round him, I moved it, I drew round him. And then I, again with the black, I just painted through the black here and then I just doodled inside. So again, these are all things that I do on the aeroplane. You know, I, sometimes the pages just appear without you even thinking. I don't plan anything, I never have done. Here's the dress again, but this time she's got spots. This is the white. That's the white again through the stencil. This um, is... Again, the ink through there. I forgot. Have you got a water brush with white in it? And that I have. Well? well, it's worked well so far. I've had the white in it for four weeks. I didn't think it would work because it's got the pigment in and I thought it might clog. So I've had it in four weeks and it's okay so far. Um, but I will let you know. I'll keep doing it, keep using it, keep using it, keep using it. If it starts to clog, I will tell everybody. Um, but at the moment, it is working really well. Is that the white too? It looks more opaque. No, that's just, um, this is a page where I've got, I've mess on my desk and I've just gone like that. So the pink has mopped up and this is just the bare page. Okay. So again, I've stamped her, I've masked her. I've just stamped the mask on. I've stamped the flowers right over the top again. I've taken the journal block. Oops. I've taken the journal block down the side and drawn round. Kate's loving it because she looked at these online, just the line drawings, and she was like, yeah, they're nice, but they're not for me. And she came and saw all the samples and she's like, oh, aren't you? That's what she said to me yesterday. So, you know, and again, you can use them. The big tags, the number 12 tags are perfect for these. That's the size I designed them for. I love my journals. I wanted to do them for journals, but I wanted to do them for the tags as well. But the small ones, you know, you can do exactly the same with all the small ones and make them for um, cards and journal pages. Paper in your journal, which yeah. is gorgeous. What other kinds of what are the properties of the paper that make it that would work well it, with these? It, what other paper? Yeah, what properties are you looking for? Is it smooth? I want it, it. I want it where it's it's not too porous because if it's too porous, my inks will go straight in. Uh, for stamping and writing, I prefer it smoother. 
but I'll work on watercolour paper and all sorts. But I used to work in the moleskins, but they just don't take the inks as much. And that's the problem. Most journals don't take the inks, which is why I brought out my own journal, because it's people ask me all the time, what do you use, what do you use, what do you use? So now I just say I use this and I love it. If this wasn't made for me, I would think it was made for me. Do you know what I mean? I just <laughs> love it. There is two different kinds of paper, but originally I wanted two different kinds of paper because I wanted to see, you know, I, they don't work any different, but I thought there would be a different result. But to be quite honest, there's not a lot of difference between the two when you use them. Um, but I do, you know, so if I just had one of each, it wouldn't matter to me so because it takes. Maker, I'm sorry. It's okay. For a card maker, if they were using these with cards, what would you, what would you look for? You want something heavy? You want something smooth? Well, if you're going to make a card, you need it to be heavy enough to stand anyway. So it has to be a certain weight. You wouldn't use the thin. But the Manila, the Manila, Manila that's in here would make a card. I would probably cut the Manila up and use it. But if I was making a card, I'd take one of my number 12 tags and just fold it in half because that's how I do You see, if you just take one of these, because I love Manila, fold it in half, then you have a card. I mean, this is a messy card, but you have a card, yeah. So I use Ranger's Manila paper, Manila card. I use that all the time. And I use the speciality stamping card all the time. But if you use the speciality stamping card with my inks, you get more of a pastel colour because it soaks some of it in but I, I just try anything and if it works it works if it doesn't oh well I'll just use something else but for a card it needs to be something that's going to stand up but what you could do you see your card is just your outer so you could take my it's, it's cheaper to take one of my journals and rip it to bits you know so you could just cut a piece out there and that can be the front bit that goes on the card so because because you know that the paper in here works beautifully so you know it's go it's going to be fine. So yeah, Thank okay, you. no problem. Thank you. It's a pleasure, my love. <laughs> Thank you.